of us brought a toy for you and how we play with them and how we take care of them. But first, we're going to hear a story about how we get toys and where they come from. The story is called The Toy Truck. Once there was a little telephone repair truck. It looked just like the real ones that you see on the street every day. But this was a toy truck. It came from a toy factory where many people worked to make it. Watch how the parts of the truck are put together. As each truck is finished, it is tested to be sure it will work. Many trucks are made in the factory, but one particular truck had a little spot of yellow paint. That was an accident. This little truck and all the others were packed in boxes. Outside the factory, the boxes were loaded into a truck. And taken to the railroad station. Trains carried the toys to cities and towns all over the country. Then they were unloaded to be delivered to stores. Think how far the toys have traveled. How many people worked to bring the toys here from the factory. And think how many people worked to make all the other toys in the store. to go to the toy store where the shelves are full of toys. It's a wonderful make-believe land, just right for girls and boys. Now, some of the toy telephone trucks had come to this store to be sold, to finish their long trip from the factory to the homes of girls and boys. Look, there's the truck with a spot of yellow paint. Who do you suppose will buy it? The toy store was big, and many people came to look at the toys and to buy them. Sometimes people bought toys for birthday presents. Sometimes people bought toys to put away until Christmas. Sometimes children saved up money so they could buy toys for themselves.
Many people bought the toy telephone trucks. Until there were only two left. And soon, the only truck left on the counter was the one with the spot of paint. One little boy wanted it, but his mother thought he was too young for it. One girl liked the way it looked, but she thought she was too old for it. Wouldn't anyone buy the truck with a spot of paint? Then along came Curtis David Wilson III. His friends all call him Skipper. Skipper was just the right age for the telephone repair truck. If only he might buy the truck. Now, there were all sorts of toys in the store, but somehow Skipper took a special liking to this particular one. Now, Skipper didn't have any money. But mother could see how much he liked it. So, do you know what she did? Yes, mother bought the telephone repair truck for Skipper. Tomorrow was going to be a special day for Skipper. Can you guess what day it was going to be? Yes, mother was buying the truck for a birthday surprise. And so, the little telephone repair truck with the yellow spot left the toy store with Skipper and his mother. Well, the next day was Skipper's birthday. He was having fun playing games with his friends. He was also having fun playing with the birthday presents his friends and his family had given him. He was going to enjoy these toys for a long time. But there was one present Skipper didn't know about yet. Mother knew about it. Father knew about it, and we know about it too, don't we? There it is. Skipper thought this was the best gift of all. He thanked mother and father for giving him the truck. But we know that other people helped Skipper get his truck, don't we? the people who worked in the toy factory. The men who took the toys from the factory to the store. The people who worked in the toy store. All these people helped Skipper get his telephone repair truck. Now Skipper wanted his friends to see and enjoy it. He wanted them all to have as much fun with it as he was going to have. And Skipper was going to take good care of it, so it would last for a long, long time. Now we know the story of the toy truck. We know where toys come from and how we get them. Now let's tell about our own toys. Wouldn't you like to tell how you play with your favorite toys and how you take care of them?